Hey everybody, looks like we have an excellent collection tonight. That's what the internet is telling me. So I am so happy to hang out with everyone today. So right now we have Roy and Color Graphics. Good to see you. We have Blue. Great to see you. And Colette. Thank you so much for hanging out. And we have Willie. Good to see you. Uh, so very cool. So thank you so much for being here. And uh, so Colette says, we chose me over Netflix. Good decision. <laughs> no, honestly, thank you for hanging out. Hey, what's up there, Mr. John and Brad? Good to see you guys. So glad you're here. And so this is part, what is this, part four of painting, painting Queen's Gambit. So the actress, uh, Anya Taylor Joy, so that's gonna be really cool. Hey, Nameless, how's it going? Good to see you, Wendy. How are you? So glad you're here. So that's really cool. And so let's go ahead and let's see. Oh, the chat box next to the picture. I'm not sure how to do that. Let's.
How about now? Is there sound? So you hear me now? Okay. So, yeah, so no problem. So we are back online. That is good. So let's get down to it. And sorry for the technical de uh, in technical fart there, but we're going to go ahead and just get going. Still doing some really quick tests. Make sure my airbrush is working correctly. Always make sure that your airbrush is tuned before you work on your artwork. Okay. So now I'm basically happy with what what's going on. So I'm glad everyone can hear me now. Patty, good to see you. How are you? Okay, so and good to see you brad so let's see let's go ahead and i'm going to pull up my reference so i can see what i'm doing once again if anyone is interested in ink flingers hat or shirt let me know i do sell them and uh, so it would help out the channel that way if anyone is interested and so i'm pulling up my queen's gambit reference so now what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start working on some texture here. And so right in here, I'm just going to very lightly in the, in the eyes here, start working on some of that texture. And just make sure you go slow when you start. You don't want to go in like a cowboy, you know. You want to take it easy. You'll get there. You can see right here I have a really high contrast, but the contrast is not that high in the reference material, so I definitely have to address this. If you see that there's any contrast that's too high, uh, you definitely want to make sure that you correct that as soon as possible. Because like a domino, one thing is going to affect another, and before you know it, it's going to be a really nice painting of Natalie Wood, but it's not going to be your subject. Now I talk a lot about the one second rule, but one thing I don't want you to do is to be spraying and looking back at your reference while you're spraying because then you're going to have marks that you don't want. So make sure when you're looking at your reference you turn off your airbrush, right? And then you go back. So that's important. So let's blow up here, and we'll work on her eyes here, just to get a little more clarity.
see on this side of her eye it's a lot darker and so you want to set that up and you want to make sure that you have enough space for this negative negative shape over here very important and now we're going to see that value is much darker over here so let's make that happen Okay, let's move on over to the other eye. Hey Raul, how's it going? Good to see you. So with this detail mixture, you can get super close without have to worrying about spidering. Of course, you gotta make sure that you tune in your airbrush with the pack valve and also distance. But this uh, detail mixture is better than anything else that's out there. It's not a wild claim when it's true. Anyone who has used this detail mix realizes that Detail is not so much in this like, you know, esoteric kind of swashbuckling control with the airbrush. It's more like what's in the airbrush that's most important. Let me see if I can focus that a little bit. There we go. Oh yes, uh, blue, definitely. Vaya con Dios, you know. How long are you going to be gone for? sure we get the negative shape correct here. Negative shape you'll find is really important to get the look of your model. It's not just the positive shapes, although the positive shapes are important, but the negative shapes are just as important. Wow, that's a, okay, that's seven days. That's a good trip. Okay, and let's work on some of these details here. shadows here. There we go. 
up. And then we have this over here. Remember one time I was in Harvey's studio and I'm working painting from the model in oils and I was being tentative with you know the highlights and different areas and it was well along in the painting and I remember him saying what are you waiting for go ahead and make some decisions so if you find yourself getting a little too tentative you know go ahead and make a decision you know stop stop being too tentative if you feel that's what's happening because that's not going to serve you or your painting. So you see I'm sort of working this area in and so now what I can do is maybe start working on this area here for the chin and out. So let's make that happen. I'm going to zoom in. Hey Toby, good to see you. How are you? So glad you're here my friend. This is definitely time for the glasses. Let's make this happen. Okay. And okay. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more on my reference here. So Raul said, hey, what's up, Patrick? Viva Montreal. Raul says, hey, Tim, have you ever used a tank, a CO2 tank, uh, five pound? Yeah, you know, I would definitely... Raul probably stick with a regular compressor. Uh, you never use a CO2 tank, but they run out. And then you have this big old tank. Unless you're like on location, I really recommend a you know a real air, a real compressor. You know you can pick an extra compressor up at like uh, you know online. Get a you know maybe a two gallon uh, California Air Tools to do stuff like that but I don't recommend those portable air sources I don't know I just I just don't think it's good but that's just my opinion down a little bit so you can see what I'm working on. So my custom extreme painted arrow is a hundred and forty nine dollar airbrush. And the Takuma, the Lawuma, whatever, the, the whatever it is they have out there, this thing will kick its butt and you will save yourself three, four hundred dollars. So 
you haven't gotten one of these already, just ask somebody who does, and they'll tell you it's better than a Makuma, Saruma, whatever it is that they have out there. Hey, Mr. Leahy, how's it going? Good to see you, sir. And we're just going to continue modeling these forms. And I want to model this chin area, too. So let's make that happen. Wow, look at that. So, uh, Wendy's mom is getting married this weekend. That's fantastic. God bless her. Yeah, a little bit darker over here. And we're just going to, you know, continue modeling this form here, very lightly. See that? And also, you see we have some modelings of, of the lips here. So, uh, Toby asks, what did I use to get the pencil lines? Uh, this mechanical pencil right here. See that, sir? And I use a 0 0.5 Pentel, and it's the uh, P205. And I've been using that since I was a kid. So, definitely recommend that. You get the most beautiful pencil lines. <laughs> Thanks, Wendy. I appreciate that. So when I feel, so when you feel like nothing's coming out, it could be a lot of different things. Uh, it could be just the fact that you just got to, maybe it's just a little bit of a teeny tiny little tip dry. That's probably what it is. Maybe adjust your pack valve a little bit. But never continue and say, hey, nothing's coming out as normal. Let me continue pulling back. That's a real no-no. That's a definite no-no. So definitely be care careful of that. So, uh, okay. So now that we worked on her, her chin here, let's continue up here. So there's a lot of modeling going on, modeling of the forms. And you'll see here that we have this shape over here it comes down and I'm going to lower that air pressure a little bit so when you want to get darker and more detail you go closer when you want to get lighter and you don't want to have any kind of um, you know you want to have a beautiful gradation and you go further away Good question, Toby. So anything, so what I give uh, templates, what I did here was I used, I used paper masking over here. 
but this is my drawing and so I definitely went ahead and just transferred it now if you want to know like really deep you have to take my class so so I share a lot but I don't share the deep 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 stuff on my live streams and but I think my classes are so so inexpensive that it would basically uh, be like the best value out there what you would learn is by far I think one of the best values out there yeah but I definitely don't give out like real real details except in my classes Toby so remember perpendicular and not parallel right this little bit of her reflected light right here on her chin hey what's up there mr. Chris how you doing sir always a pleasure to hear from you so glad you're here sir oh this is the same old shield that I've had for years a friend of mine made it for me and from that day on it's just been me and this shield for 95 I would say more like 99% of the freehand shield work Definitely. Thank you, Colette. I appreciate that. Exactly. Exactly. But the thing is, I think I give away a lot in these live streams. I mean, a lot. And I'm happy to do that because it's a way for me to give back you know and so that's really important thank you Brad I appreciate that sir Okay, so you see I'm starting to really work out some of the ebb and flow of forms as they kind of move adjacent to one another and then some rise above, then it goes back underneath the surface and then another one takes its place and that's basically what we're doing here. Thank you, John Colette and and um, John Colette and and Brad. I really appreciate that. Thank you. I tell you, I'm very happy. I have very very loyal students, and they're just doing so great. And so that I think is important. I think when you have loyal students, it really has a lot to say about the curriculum about how much the students are learning how much they are being uh, challenged and also you know how I make them feel comfortable go on their pace you know it's not it's not a high pressure thing and my mentorship program which is one class one-on-one -on -one per week for two hours right and that's every week and then you have one group class it's 8 30 at night on fridays and that's one month of that for a hundred dollars so that's like unheard of i don't know how long i'll be able to keep those prices locked in but i'm happy to do it now it's just i wish there was something like that when i was a youngster <laughs> Wendy says I have the patience of Job. 
Oh, thank you. So Roy says that I turned him around at, at his age. Well, Roy is 39, so if anyone's asking, right, Roy, isn't that the truth? <laughs> That's Roy's story, and he's sticking to it. But Roy's a pleasure to work with, I'm telling you. He's a great student. Just a pleasure. So Roy and me are working on a painting of Mo from the Three Stooges. How cool is that? That's very exciting. So I'm looking, uh, so that's looking forward to continuing that. It's just amazing, you know? It's really great. So just as you see, I'm working with the light mixture, extremely light. And I'm going to be getting rid of some pencil lines as I go. Remember, your pencil lines are always your your uh, training wheels. You're not going to take off your training wheels when you just start going down a hill, right? That's not good. So you're going to make sure you hold on to those pencil lines for as long as possible because you're going to need them. Once you lose them, then it's drawing it all over again, and that's not fun. And if everything's not in the place, you won't see the relativity of everything. And that's when things really, the wheels come off. Not the training wheels, your actual axles, axles you know, those wheels. So, definitely. Uh, so, let's go continue looking at this forehead. I don't see too much going on here as far as variation. So, I'll move on. But this forehead, I do see a lot of variation. So let's go ahead and work on this forehead here. <laughs> Fifth time sounds about right. Okay, so we have this area of the forehead. If you look at the reference, it's not just one value, right? So first, I'm just going to reiterate the shape of the hair. Little tiny dagger strokes. Right? Little tiny dagger strokes. Look at that. Dollar, $149 airbrush will kick any I want his butt. So right here you can see a super soft edge, right? Super soft. So let's go ahead and propagate that soft edge together. And I'm pumping that trigger back and forth. And now what you want to do, you want to gauge that edge, you know, what the value is, how close is it on the value scale. So even though I'm not going as dark as I want, I need to have that right relative value differential. So that's why, you know, even though we're lighter, we're still in this detail mix. It doesn't mean that we are exempt from getting the relationships correct. It's all about relationships, am I right? We have a light coming over here. It's not a reflected light. It's a form. It's a form light, and you can see how it starts. The forehead starts to turn when you get to the temporal lobe over here. And as I want to get lighter and softer, I just increase my distance from the airbrush. You know, so that's really important. Time to take a little sip of my mystery drink. So don't forget, today is the Wheel of Names, right? It's 10.07. So around 10.30, we're going to be giving away a, um, let's see. I'm going to leave it up to you. Do I give away a Fonz and Porter? Do I give away a mug? Do I give away a hat? Or do I give away, so you, so we have the mug, the hat, we have the Fonz and Porter, 
and we have a fine art print. So pick right now, whoever, whatever is more, is what we're giving away at 10.30 tonight. The Wheel of Names is uh, a lot of fun, and so that's going to be very exciting. Oh, Nameless said, did I break my mug? No, actually, this is, this is not tea, so it's just something uh, mysterious in here. So today is a mystery drink. One Fonz and Porter, two fine art prints. So, so far we have a uh, fine art print in the lead. It'll be a five by seven on metal panel. And Fonz and Porter is one of these guys. And what you do is it basically is a chalk pencil that allows you to get fine detail. Coffee surprise. <laughs> Okay, so we got two, we got two fine art prints, and we got one Fonz and Porter. So we have the mug you can vote for, you can vote for a hat, and you can vote for the fine art prints. Moonshine, <laughs> something with a high alcohol content. <laughs> Uh, fine art prints. So we got three fine art prints, one Fonz and Porter. It's looking good for the fine art print, that's for sure. And let's see here. Yeah, so so far it looks like fine art print is is uh, going to win. So I'm going to keep the voting up until 10, 11. So uh, I like the importer or the print. So got to pick one there, Mr. Nameless. So, uh, okay, so we have four to one. Fine art print is really, really picking up. So it looks like it's gonna be pretty rough. How about the winner chooses? I, well, I gotta make it sort of like everyone's involved, but it's a good idea, maybe next time. Fine art print, okay, so we're looking at five to one. Bottle of Coquit. Chris, I'm waiting for this Christmas some more Coquito, okay? Because that was unbelievable. See, I've been hanging around Puerto Rican women most of my life. And uh, so I know what good Coquito is. Coquito, it's amazing. Uh, it's like a Puerto Rican, uh, it's like a, it's milk and it's rum and it's coconut. It's just amazing. Sometimes rum, sometimes vodka, but it's really good. Okay, fine art print. Looks like the, uh, at this point, the lead is insurmountable. So we're looking at six to one fine art print and uh, nothing else. No one chose the hat, no one chose the mug. So we have till 10, 11. And uh, Colette says, what's cone? You mean coquito? Coquito's amazing. Coconut. Has lots of coconut in there. So Chris, what is your secret ingredient that makes that coquito amazing? All right, so we're just going to keep it up to 10, 11. So unless like seven people say Fonz and Porter right now, it looks like going once, going twice. 10.30, we're going for a fine art print. And this is what I'm thinking. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to, let's see. So a nice thing happened to me today, which was really cool, is that uh, I finished the port commission and I sent that out today and they sent me a photograph, uh, sent me a video of the father. It was, you know, the father and his wife and, uh, and the father and the mother and the son. And it was a picture taken maybe about 30 years ago and they sent me a video because I'm always so worried about how people are going to react, you know, how people are going to react to my artwork. I really hope they like it, but, you know, it's, it's always nerve-wracking for me. It really is. I mean, it really drives me crazy. Um, but I do have an idea of which fine art print I'm going to do. And uh, you all could uh, be the judge if you want that to be the fine art print. Uh, let's see. Now I can do this one. 
uh, this David Bowie that I did. Uh, what do you all think? Uh, do you think the David Bowie would be good as a fine art print? Or I could go ahead and let's see if I do. this one here so this one so I can do that one or the other one you guys be you'll have a choice when you win okay so that's really cool so let's go back to the regularly scheduled program hey Rick how's it going good to see you hey Steve take care always good to see you my friend Okay, so back to this forehead. Yes, that's so true. So nameless, definitely. I'm always looking for reference. Always going on. Uh, Pinterest is a good place for reference. Uh, also my own photographs when I'm able to convince a model to come to my studio and pose for me. Uh, and, you know, celebrities are always great. You know, they really are. So let's zoom out and see how that's looking. So what's really cool now is that everyone who's here is going to be able to enter the Wheel of Names, okay? But the thing is, if you win, if you're not subscribed, you have to subscribe, okay? Is that fair? So that's all I ask. That's all I ask of you people is just a subscribe to me and so let's come over here this forehead not much happening over here we have a little bit of variation of value in the forehead here having to do with the cast shadow of the hair right so we'll make that happen so all those little things look like they're very small changes but in reality adding up makes for a really nice three-dimensional form you know so that's really really crucial over here we got to make sure that this even though this is a muscle we got to make sure it doesn't look like a medallion that it's irregular this right here is a muscle Well, I hope you all subscribe. It doesn't necessarily mean you are. Oh. Now there's micro, micro changes over here. And it's always good to check it out, make sure that you can go ahead and make those micro changes here and there. But you can also see where I may have gotten a little overzealous. So I might just go ahead and soften this up just a little bit. Just like so. It's all like a balancing act, you know? Like those guys who are twirling those plates so at the same time has to keep them twirling. That's kind of like what working with a portrait is like. So remember on this side, since the light source is coming from the right, then the eyeball is a round form. So, of course, with that being noted, that this side of that circle, or that ball of the eye, has to be darker on this side. So you see, that's going to be really important 
to get that feeling that she's in a three-dimensional space, you know? Thank you, John. John says, don't forget to hit that like button. That always helps. And I appreciate that very much. Okay, so we do have some micro changes over here. Maybe I can go with something a little bit light, uh, softer. Let's try this pink pearl. Now I'm just establishing the shape and then I'm going to go ahead and bring it in line as far as value goes. Oh great, look at that 11 likes already. Very cool guys, thank you. Thank you. If you subscribe it really helps the channel and so if you haven't subscribed that would be cool. If you don't want to subscribe it's all good. Hang out, talk about art, that's all that matters. But to go ahead and win that fine art print, dun, 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 you're just going to have to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. So you're going to make Coquito this weekend? That's amazing. Look at that. You're spreading uh, Boricua culture all over the, uh, all over the country there, Mr. Mr. Chris. Wepa. Chris, you will realize that I am the most Puerto Rican white guy you ever met in your life. Puerto Rican-like, I should say. Puerto Rican-like. I make uh, arroz con gandules, uh, pollo guisao, empanadas, both chicken, and also, uh, let's see, we have chicken empanadas, and corned beef empanadas. What do you think of that, my friend? Huh? Goya, tiene que ser bueno, huh? <laughs> Roy, uh, Wendy's, uh, uh, Mr. Willie's laughing about that. Oh, thank you. So that's pretty cool. Nameless, unliked, and liked. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> and you see I'm hovering around here. I'm not going to get too fixated. I'm going to move around, of course. Rodeo Doc Doctor, how are you? So... So, hello, Tim. It's been a while. Love your work. Learned so much from you. Winter is approaching. And when I do most of my airbrushing, all the best. Your friend uh, from Ontario. Wow. So cool to see you. Thank you so much for hanging out. Wow. Rodeo. Thank you. Thank you so much. We have a lot of... We have, we have Brad from Canada. We have Roar. And we have... Um, who else is my Canadian friend here? Uh, my friend from Montreal. Ah. Yeah, so I, you know, I have my friend from Montreal. So your name escapes me for a second. I do apologize. 
just finished that commission. So I finished that commission yesterday, you know? No, I, I finished that commission about a week ago, more than a week ago, and then I sent it out and it was delayed in, in transit. It was kind of like lost, like Roy's airbrush last year. And so the client was like, hey, where is this, where's the portrait? And I'm like, I'm so sorry, it's lost in transit and hopefully it'll be found. And then it was, uh, it showed up today out for delivery. So I went ahead and breathed a sigh of relief and it arrived this evening. And that's when I got news that the dad really loved it. He was really, you know, very emotional over it. And that's what makes me really happy to be an artist, you know, that I can do stuff like that. So this is a great thing. So when you're sweaty, you can just go ahead and, uh, use your airbrush as a little fan, a little fan, that's fantastic. Ten twenty-three. so that means the Wheel of Names is going to be coming up. So what kind of music do you want to hear at the Wheel of Names? So you have a choice, do you want like rap, do you want rock, do you want carnival music? So you definitely can pick that if anyone has a request of what kind of music for the Wheel of Names. That's definitely going to be an Ink Flingers tradition every Wednesday night, giving away something. No, I have not heard from uh, Mike S. at all. No, not at all. And so we got country. All right, Chris. And we got uh, metal. So we have one country, one metal. And so <laughs> so that's cool. So country western. So we got two country westerns in the house. Okay. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, Ride of the Valkyries. A little Vark, uh, uh, Wagner, huh? That's pretty cool. You didn't think I'd know that, did you, Toby? About Ride of the Valkyries being Wagner. Actually, that's an amazing piece. Wagner actually is, is a very good composer. Black metal. Wow. So we got two metal, uh, three country western. Okay. So that sounds exciting. What happens if it lands on the icon? That's the thing. If it lands on the icon, then something special is going to happen. And I'm not going to reveal what's going to happen because I don't know yet. But it's going to be something really very, very cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and uh, calm this area here. The, disparity between the light and dark is too far away so I'm just gonna go ahead and dust that out a little bit like right there and then right here I'm gonna dust this out here okay we have a nice dark here right along here So this stage is always very interesting, right? You know, when you're right here, you're kind of in the middle of the beginning, and you're not quite in the middle yet. And so things look kind of in between, you know? It's like, are they, is it coming out okay? You're not sure, all that. You win the hat off Tim's head. <laughs> Could be something that you could pick from my studio. That could be interesting. So that that could be really quite fascinating. So those are good ideas there, sir. Again, you know, we're gonna get rid of those pencil lines when we don't need them anymore. Now this light shape, although it's very, very subtle, we're just going to make sure that 
we establish that shape a little bit. <laughs> Tim's cat. Actually, my cat is not feeling good today, so she threw up. So I have to keep an eye on her, poor baby. Usually, when I come out of my bedroom, she jumps out like a like a puppy and runs after me. When I woke up, she wasn't uh, wasn't as responsive. So I said, "Uh oh!" And then I looked, and she drew up right by the kitchen. So it's like, ugh. Oh. You know, I feel so bad for the kitty. Let's go ahead and erase. And so right now you see this is a little dark, so rather than erase, what I'm going to do is just wait for the other parts to come up and catch up, you know? Nameless subscribers, Tim, do you draw those pieces, those lines freehand or trace them in K is to save time? There's several ways, and I use every single way, you know. As you've seen, I drew this freehand. So I'll do a little bit of both. And so that's the thing, you know. It's like in art, everything is fair game, you know. The most important thing is how it comes out. So beauty is the most important thing. So yeah, you know, it's, uh, you know, I do some freehand, um, I may project, I may use some, uh, some freehand, uh, some masking, there's just a lot of different elements that one could use, you know. One thing I do see is that the uh, underneath the uh, lower eyelid here, we see that this comes out a little bit further. So here's an example of me using freehand techniques. Just because you projected it doesn't mean that it's correct. So there are times where you might have to fix a projection and then you have to rely on freehand techniques. So always be open to correction, no matter what you use. Okay, it's 10.30, so that means we are headed to the Wheel of Names. So let's see here. Uh, do I have it? Let's see. So I'm going to go here to Wheel of Names. Okay, there we are. Now, what I'm going to do, because a lot of people are still here from last week, and let's see. So, let's see. So, do I have that? Okay, cool. So, you all can see the Wheel of Names, which is good. So, I'm going to change this here to uh, Steve from the UK he wrote in and we have Toby we have Chris we have Brad we have nameless Rick Willie Raul blue John Payne and we also have Colette right so let's take a look at Colette here And let's see who else. We have Wendy. Wendy's there. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. No Wendy. Okay. Okay. Let's see who else we have that I missed. Uh, Rick, right? Let's see. So, oh, Todd, how you doing? So, we got Todd. So, that's good. And we have... Rick and Raul. So let's make sure I have those guys here. So we have Rick and Raul and 
And let's put in Todd, Mr. Todd. So this is going to be an, quite an action-packed Todd. Let's see who else. Uh, who else did I forget? Let's see. Uh, anyone? Oh, uh, is Roy here? No, we got to put Roy in. Okay, so let's see. Who else is missing? Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put this up. I think this is everyone. And we got Brad in here. Make sure Brad's there. Brad's there. And okay, whoever's out there who wants to be a part, just go ahead and type in type in the uh, comment section real quick. Okay, so it looks like oh raw definitely. And so let's go ahead to put in raw. Okay, so now it's time. And we're going to go ahead and we got to change the music, right? So let's see if we have country. Uh, we have crazy clown. That's kind of scary. Uh, cheerful. Wow, I don't see anything. So we have country western, but no western, nothing, relaxing, reggae, uh, lobby inspiration, grunge, I like grunge, Greek, uh, elevator music, no one ever likes elevator music, Christmas, cheerful, Bollywood, Arabic, tickling sound. Um, Okay, so second choice of the music. What kind of music do you guys like here? Uh, spaceship, huh? Okay. Um, grunge, okay. Let's go with grunge, okay? Well, so we'll make it grunge. And sorry about that. Everyone wanted country western, but it's just not going to happen today. All right, so we're going to hit okay. And here goes for... We are going for the fine art print. Bam! Looks like Willie again, but it could be Raul, but it could be Blue. It's sort of still traveling. Wow, Blue won again. So it's not done yet. So Blue, you won again. So we have like multiple winners a lot, which is really great. And so that's exciting. And let's go back. To, let me close this out so that means I owe you a shirt and let's see so I just have to go back to my other screen and there we go okay so let's see so blue way to go so so fantastic uh, so how do you guys like the uh, you know, the, the, the wheel of names. Is it something that you guys want to see every week? You know? Uh, let me know. I'll definitely continue it. But uh, I like the fact that it looks like somebody won. But in reality, somebody else wins. You know? Because it goes so slow towards the end. Great turnout uh, with the uh, wheel of names, you know? Oh, look at that. So, 
So blue won a piece from me and won a piece from uh, Steve Leahy. You're going to have quite an art collection. That's fantastic. So I'm really excited. I'm going to give you an... I'm going to IM you and give you a choice of several different ones. And uh, you can pick which one you like, okay? So that sounds really good. So very exciting. So another successful moment of the Wheel of Names, right? So that's cool. So I think... Uh, Roar had a question way back here. Was that pencil, how do you get the shine? I basically just eventually erase everything. So one of the things I always say is to make sure you keep your pencil lines as long as possible because you might need it. But when you don't need it anymore, then you just get rid of it and you don't have any problems with the shine. So that's a great question. And for some reason, I have this curling. So, you know, you'd be surprised that a lot of times you will be seeing things that, that you did. And you're like, what was I thinking? That's not the way it goes. So, always be very diligent. Uh, watchdog over your art. You know, make sure that you double and triple check what you're doing. Very, very important. So Toby says that was weird. What happened? So I'm sorry. So what would you mean? Were you talking about the wheel of names? So I'm going to go ahead and start working on those nostrils. So let's make that happen. Oh, I'm sorry you're having trouble with your PC, my friend. Oh, cool. Early birthday present for Blue. I'm going to put a cute little frame on that for you as well. So when you get it, ready to hang, okay? So that's going to be cool. Let me get my glasses, because this is glasses territory. And, let's see. Where was I? Yeah, nostrils, right? So let's go ahead and zoom in on them. sculpt those nostrils you know you want to sculpt it you want to get that shape correct
Now I was a little overzealous with the dark there, but that's okay. I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to come back and erase that out. But at least I have something to set up the lights when I come in with the white pastel, right? Remember, it's chess. You're thinking several moves ahead. So that's basically uh, what to do. Oh, thank you, Roar. Roar says that they love the close-ups. I appreciate that. Yeah, I love that because I'm using a DSLR, not just a webcam. And this way, so I have two webcams set up. I have the DSLR coming down, so right here, coming down. That's when you get to see the clarity. And then I have this one. The, this one right here is a webcam to the lower right. And then this is a webcam where you can see from this angle. So it's all pretty cool trying to get different angles to get an idea of, you know, environments, you know, studio space, that sort of thing. Okay, so I'm just going to blow some air on there where the nose was. And then I'm going to look for a middle ground, a middle of the road kind of eraser. Not too hard, not too soft. A lot like Goldilocks. Just right. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. See, this is nice and soft. This is the knock. I think it's a 3.4 uh, by Tombow. It's a great little eraser. You're able to erase, but it's not intrusive, doesn't tear the paper, and it's real subtle. And we can always go back over. Well, thank you. So, uh, Wendy says she loves it. I keep the reference uh, there so people can see it. Well, that's so cool because, and I appreciate it because I want you guys to learn, you know, and to at least see, you know, what I'm doing so you can, you know, be better immersed into the process. Hey, what's up there, Tone? Thank you so much. Tone says, nice setup. And uh, Willie says, I can never find this one. Yeah, I would check Amazon. Uh, you know who else might have it? Blickart.com. Give them a shot. You know what? If I find it, I should buy it and maybe put it one week in the Wheel of Names. Oh, Willie, so about your mug. So this is what happened. A couple of weeks ago, Willie won the mug, right? And so... I made the first mug and it had a slight imperfection so I'm like you know it was personalized to Willie and I'm like I can't give him a mug that has an imperfection so I made a second one so I have one that's perfect and one has an imperfection so I'm like what am I gonna do with a mug with Willie's name on it so Willie you got two mugs for the price of one so that's really cool so so that's that's exciting so they're on their way okay your mugs are in transit as we speak. Oh, Wendy said she's going to find it for you. That's cool. So here we're just going to work on this part of her eye here. And it's much lighter because it's it's facing the light as it turns up the uh, part underneath her eye, lower eyelid. It's facing up, so you're going to get a little more light here. And we're just going to make sure that happens. Same thing here. We're getting more light in this uh, upper eyelid here. Oh, one will be for work. Cool. Oh, thanks, Tone. Tone says I put on a good art show. I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Now that the weather's getting colder, first day of autumn, 
the air conditioner is going to be cut off so the sound quality is going to be much better so I'm looking forward to that uh, I definitely cannot work without air conditioning in the summer that would I would actually melt so that would not be good and let's go ahead and pull in this dark here this dark line Little by little, we'll get there, you know? Cool. So, Nameless is giving uh, Mr. Tone uh, some props, and that's well-deserved. You know, that's good. Pretty soon we're going to be moving into the light, the light mixture and getting things a little bit darker, which is going to be cool. So I do see a dark that's kind of out, out of line here on the tip of her nose. So that is something that I... So anything you see that's out of line, you definitely want to bring it in line. Unless you can say to yourself, okay, it's darker, we'll just make it catch up later. But in this case, I didn't think that was... That was actually what was happening. Okay, so again, we have a little bit overzealousness here. We'll just fix that, and then we'll come back to it. Okay, so now this side, you see this part of her dress here? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start working that up a little bit. And so right here, this color. I'm not going to get rid of the pencil lines just yet. Remember, you don't get rid of your, your training wheels until you really know how to, how to ride that bike. Same thing. You don't get rid of your your pencil lines until you know you have it all situated with the ink or the paint depending on what you're working on. There's a real subtle difference between here and here so I'm going to increase my distance so I get real subtle changes. One second rule, keep your head in the game, so make sure you continue that, continue that one second rule. Now we're making that, we're working that. Oh, good night, Patty. Always great to see you. So cool. Yes, I, I see what you're doing now with those uh, sneakers. That's unbelievable, Mr. Uh, Mr. Tone. So fantastic. You're really knocking it out of the park. move on over to the other side right so what we do on one side we have to make sure we do on the other
further you're away, the less of any kind of blotchiness you're going to get. There are times you want to have blotchiness, but there are times you don't, so be in control of that. work on some of these errant hairs here. There we go. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's really cool. You're welcome, Tone. Yeah, the one second rule. That's what you know, my teachers didn't call it the one second rule. They just said, you know, make sure you don't put anything down that you don't see first, you know. But, yeah, the, the uh, one second rule is such a good, such a good rule, you know. And I have to force myself, Tone, to do it all the time. Because I can start thinking about what I'm going to get at the dollar store, uh, you know, and before you know it. I'm doing a really nice portrait of Priscilla Presley, and it's not this woman here. So, you know, I have to really be on myself, be on top of my, my game, you know. Okay, so right now we can see. So remember what I said about the pencil lines, right? You don't get rid of them until uh, you don't need them anymore. And so now I can get rid of some of them here. And so you, it's just very slow, right? This is a painstaking technique, right? So we're in week four, and I'm not even close to thinking about completion here. I'm just thinking about sticking with the program, you know? That's all I'm thinking about. Oh, exactly. So there's a video out there, uh, Toby, where I basically say, set it and forget it. 25, leave it there forever. Unless you're changing your subject matter. If you're doing stuff like this, set it at 25 and never have to worry about it again. Where the micro adjustments are is in, are in the, uh, the pack valve, right? And you have an extreme Patriot arrow, so that pack valve is really where you're going to make those adjustments. Me too, Tone. Definitely keeps me in check, that's for sure. Uh, Nameless says, Willie, I think he's confusing his name with someone else. Maybe it was Winston. Oh, okay. Willie's a very cool friend of the channel. He's been around since the very beginning. So, Willie is one of the vets, the veteran ink flingers out there. Lee, how's it going all the way from the UK? How are you? So glad you're here, my friend. How's life over there in uh, the UK? And I know it's very late, so I'm very appreciative of you stopping by at this late hour over there. Very appreciative. Now I think what we can do is maybe we can work on that hand a little bit more. What do you what do you all think? Let's think. Let's make that happen a little bit. So let's go down. Oh, you see I have to zoom in first, then go down. Okay. Alright. So you see I still have pencil lines, so it's not until I can set it and forget it, right? That's the important thing. Wow, four days off. That is too cool. That is amazing. Okay, this is Glasses Territory.
there is this dark outline there and I think that is what you call a color field you know it's something that happens like a phenomenon there's a dark line here and now maybe we're going to go darker but right now since I'm in this uh, detail mix it's only so dark I can go and now you have this darker value coming down here it's good because once you put that dark there then you have more room to really go ahead and start modeling the form of these each individual fingers Let's do the same here for this hand. It's coming down right by where the knuckle is, where the knuckle turns. There's this little triangle here. finger and the forefinger or index finger right index finger remember further the distance away the lighter the value is going to be and more smooth right so that's what I'm looking for let's continue down a little further Okay, we have a dark value coming right here. There we go. You see those fingers are starting to turn, you know? And uh, Lee says it also defines the contrast between her finger and the bright co collar. Definitely does. I agree. And so that really brings that finger forward, right? So very good point there, Mr. Lee. Thank you for that. A little bit darker over here. So you see with the Extreme Patriot Hour, I can go and do large areas of subtle gradations and I can go really tight and get some beautiful detail so you have the whole range of technique here which I love we have a long way to go but the thing is we're just taking our time let's move this down this way okay so you see it gets quite dark between these knuckles here on the back of the hand we just want to make sure we find this shape here. And that's going to describe all the forms, you know, which is really important. And Tone says at the store he has it at 70 PSI with the manifold that has MAC valves to adjust and inline. Yes, and you're doing more like textile t-shirts and, and uh, things like that. So you need that extra PSI. So I definitely agree with you on that Tone for the kind of stuff that you're doing which is amazing. Okay, so looking at this uh, pinky here and the creases that we see, I can definitely look at that and look at my reference and I can say, okay, Tim, you're a little overzealous. 
so I can see that it does not come this far out it actually is much more shallow so you see those are things that you always got to try and catch because if you don't it's just not going to be as good as it can be Ah, thank you so much, Mr. Lee. Always a pleasure. You have a very peaceful and restful evening, my friend. So anyone out there who isn't uh, subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Uh, so what I'm looking at is that my analytics say that 50% of the viewers of the live stream are not subscribed. And that's a shame because, you know, being a subscriber, you'll get notifications when I have a new video. And not just a live stream, but actually videos that come up. So definitely go ahead and do that. And being a subscriber, you'll be eligible if you're here to have your name in the Wheel of Names. So that's exciting stuff. So definitely, uh, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that. That would be amazing. Okay, so let's look at that face. So right here, it's a little bit darker, but not as dark as I'm making it. So just going to calm that down a little bit. Wow, 5 to 70, that's cool, Tone. So what's cool is with the eraser, you can go ahead and just start modeling the forms a little bit. make those lips look like they're coming coming out at you and then going away from you okay so right now we're at 1106 Let's go ahead and uh, fire up the this bad boy right here, which is the ex customized Extreme Patriot 105. Everything is similar except that this has a larger cup. That's it. We're going to put the light mixture in there. It's a little more powerful. And let's go ahead and put my quick connect on here. Oh yeah, the uh, this particular painting is that correct, Willie? Yes, it will be when it's done. It definitely will be. So uh, definitely, I am me when it's done, Willie. And uh, if you want, I could definitely uh, uh, go ahead and uh, you can have it in reserve, or you can just see how it comes out. It's up to you, sir. <laughs> oh great okay so I'll have this on reserve for you and uh, so I'll give you a you know we'll see if it comes out and then we'll come we'll come from there oh thanks it's popping out now thank you I appreciate that and so let's see so nameless wants names of the non subscribes <laughs> I appreciate that see when 
When I get mad, I don't get upset. When I get mad, Nameless gets upset. <laughs> and when Nameless gets upset, things happen. Okay, so here you see I'm putting in the light mixture into this bad boy over here. And do that far away from my artwork. Different zip code. So Tone, one of these days I want to get together online and I want you to tell me how you fix the nozzles when they bend because that's, that's amazing. So definitely. I got some dye under that. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, okay, so I went a little bit darker. And what I want to do is I want to just go ahead and let's start from the beginning of where we start. So we're just going to darken the left eye. And I love when the airbrushes are just working so beautifully, doing everything you want it to do. And of course, that's my calibrated Extreme Patriot Arrows. Those who purchase an airbrush from me, you actually will see it in action on one of my live streams before it actually ships out to you. So you know it's going to be humming when you get it. Just darkening this a little bit and then we're going to move on over to the other eye <laughs> that's funny <laughs> and let's see let's move on to the other eye here let's blow it up for Hollywood Hollywood uh, mag movie magic here I'm going to lower that pack down a little bit because I'm getting just a little bit of a spidering. And the idea is to fix it before you see it. See, before we thought it was nice and dark, but now we come in with the light mixture. And now, uh, oh, fantastic tone. That would be great. And... First day of autumn, guys. How do you like it? Are you happy it's autumn? Let's zoom out and see what we have. Okay, so you see things are starting to darken up a little bit, which is good, you know. Ah, uh, thanks, uh, Tone. I appreciate it. And let's see. So uh, we got Willie says he loves it. And oh, that's a good question, Nameless Action Tone. So Tone's the guy to ask because he does like these amazing shoes. The last ones I've seen you do on Instagram just blew me away, my friend. Just so fantastic. So to, with the detailed mix, remember how the light mixture used to be super detail -y and super light? Now you actually can go even deeper with the uh, detail mix and then you come in with the light mixture and what happens is you just get such a wide range of values, you know, which is really amazing. And you just be surprised how, you know, you can definitely get even a greater dynamic range of values. 
and that's why I developed the uh, detail mix. Not so much to get better detail, that's an offshoot advantage of doing it, but getting more values from just four. Just four different mixtures, you can get infinite amount of values. Oh, thanks. Yeah, this corner is always a tricky one, right? So it's always something that, you know, I'm going to get more subtle with. And, you know, when you do them, of course, as you know, uh, Tone, you just have to take your time with it, you know? And it's a subtlety that is going to come from, you know, doing layer upon layer. A lot of times we, we are guilty of trying to build Rome in a day. And we just have to realize that it's going to happen when it happens. Uh, not when we say it happens, right? So we'll just build that up slowly. Okay, so now we have the dark in the hair since we're coming in and starting to get the dark. But let's get this eyelash, eyebrow here. Let's do that. Oh, look at that LK. I heard good things about that. Definitely. Thanks, Brad. Brad said it's looking great. I appreciate that, sir. So remember, we're deepening those darks, right, and getting that soft edge that we were able to, were able to, were unable to get with that detail mixture. You know, when you set up the right value with a lighter value, then come in with a darker value, it's like butter, you know? It just sort of just glides on that surface, just making it one value darker. It's hard to describe, but you really feel it. It's just so beautiful. looking for dark accents here and there, like right over here. I'm going to use my freehand shield here. In this painting, I'm using a lot of old school techniques just to show those who don't have, you know, the, um, you know, the technology that, you know, you still can do amazing work just using old analog techniques. Another beautiful area here. Perpendicular and not parallel. And we're just going to pull that dark out from there. Now you see the dark is here, but it kind of fades out over here. So you don't want to pull that dark too high. That's important. And 
design. We're just, you know, little by little, we're, we're molding everything. Oh, look at this. This is Yahawahishi, the master. This is your last. If you don't stop practicing witchcraft. Okay. So, uh, Yaha, how do I go ahead and, uh, let's see. Okay, so, all right, so, so let's get back to our regularly scheduled program here. So right here we have this dark that comes down. I don't know, really, my friend. You know, when you deal with the public, you just never know, right? I wish that person well. I'm just going to continue moving this over. And then we're going to use our freehand shield to go ahead and protect... <laughs> you know, um, I don't know why, you know, for some reason, uh, my, my uh, live stream was something that, you know, they felt they needed to say that message. God bless them. I hope they, they do okay. And uh, just, I wish everyone happiness. That's all I have to say. I wish everyone happiness. Now we go off topic and we talk about all kinds of stuff. We want to, you know, keep it, keep it, you know, kind of relevant, you know, relative to what we're doing, right? That's all. Nothing personal to that person. So luckily I still have my uh, light mixture still going here. Probably my uh, detail mixture, so I can come in and get some of these more subtle lights here. But as you can see, we're let's calm this da area down here. It's a little, a little strong. Like what am I thinking over here? Let's calm that down. There we go. Okay, so we have an interesting cast shadow over here with the hair coming over. Well, thank you, Willie. I appreciate it. And, you know, you're a great person yourself. I try and be the best person I can be. I don't always succeed, Willie, but I can always say that I try. And if I mess up, I always try and correct it, like I do with art, you know? It's very similar. Just paint what's there and it'll actually come together. So even though it looks kind of like mumbo jumbo here over this cast shadow over at the hair, just, you know, believe what you're seeing even though it doesn't look quite right and just bring it together. And then same here, we're going to sort of make the under eyelid a little more three-dimensional, right? And then we have these different values here. And just relative, relative in the sense of how these, these uh, planes are actually facing the light, right? So that's, that's basically it. And see, I had, everyone has some spidering now and then. So don't feel bad if you have spidering. Everyone does it. Especially Tim. 
I have so much spider and they call me Peter Parker. Just kidding. But if I had a Takuma, I'm sure I would never have spidering. Let's see. Let's darken this up. a new job what are you working on what's your new job if you don't mind sharing that with us sir love to hear how you're doing and how's it coming are you enjoying the new job so take your time you know uh, if you even if you're going in now to the live stream we're always happy to hear you hear from you so no worries rather have you in and out say hello come back Hey, Mr. Phil, how you doing? Good to see you. How you been? So glad you're here. So now, if I zoom out, we'll see how things are coming. How? So as you see, once I started uh, with the light mixture, things seemed to darken up quite nicely. But then you can see I can definitely kind of uh, dust this whole area here and make a little bit darker see that so definitely getting a feel right uh, some areas that you know there's too high contrast we'll go ahead and calm that down you know so that's really important so tone is laughing that's cool and uh, and air Todd is saying real job like he gets paid job that's a good job uh, I had some jobs that felt like I wasn't getting paid, like uh, some of my regular jobs. I was like, wow, at the end of the payday, I was like, that's it? That's all? You, you talk down to me and you treat me like dirt and you only give me this much? You know, that's how, you know, some of my regular 9 to 5 jobs were. I always said my nine to five jobs, if anyone talked to me, like some of the supervisors talked to me in like the street, you know, I would have stomped them. <laughs> but supervisors get away with that stuff, don't they? You know, it's like, man, you just don't know how lucky you are that you're behind that desk. So I sent out Wendy's Blackbeard Wheat, that should be coming soon, plus a few other really cool uh, goodies there. We are at 1126, which is pretty good. Uh, so that's, that's good, we're making good uh, I think we're doing okay. I mean, we're not going like super fast. We do have the Wheel of Names. That is a nice diversion. It might slow down the live streams just a bit. But you know what? You gotta have fun in life too. You gotta have fun as well. Right guys and girls? You have to have fun. You can't be all serious. So how you doing there, Mr. Phil? I'm gonna bring some of this hair down. Pretty soon we'll be getting rid of most of the pencil lines. So, but like I said, you don't get rid of them until you know you have complete balance, just like training wheels. Right here, too light. So we're just gonna calm that down. Oh, we can come in with the light mixture over here.
Oh, you're very welcome. Brad, have a great night. Always good to see you, my friend. And Peter Parker was funny. Oh, <laughs> that was a good one, huh, Tone? So, yes. Tone laughed when I said I spider so much that I they call me Peter Parker. So he got a kick out of that one. So don't forget, you can go ahead and purchase uh, Inklinger hats and uh, shirts like this. We have the baseball shirt, regular tees. Uh, let me know. Different colors, different color combinations of the logo and the actual, actual hat. So if you're interested, uh, just shoot me an email at um, paintedglyphs at gmail.com. That would be cool. It is 11.29, so as always, I promise to give a full two hours, for better or worse, you know. I always try to give the full two hours, unless sometimes we had a rainstorm like the other day. Uh, one week, I think it was the first week in this particular uh, series that the modem went out, or I think it was actually Facebook that went out. Uh, it was raining so hard. It was crazy. And so we are at 1130. So thanks, John. Take care. Thanks, Wendy. Uh, and congratulations again, Blue. That's so fantastic. So I owe you two things, a shirt, and I owe you a print. So I'll get a hold of you as to which print. And uh, going to get some paint in your eye. <laughs> thanks, Nameless. And... Uh, Take care, everyone. You guys are all great. Uh, thanks, Tone. I appreciate it. And uh, once again, thank you so much for hanging out with me on this Wednesday. You really make my week. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart.